Welcome to Humans vs. Zombies at the Festival of the Geeks in the year of our Lord 2013. These be strange times in the waters of CTC. The dead don't see fit to stay buried, but would rather walk the land and the seven seas. Now listen up, ye land lovers and scallywags. Here be the rules on how to play the game. The south border of the field, and where as ye's be making your entry be the building of the stars. What black magic can shrink the heavens to a single room I know not, but it concerns me little. Tis bordered by the road of the bells to the east, the study of sciences and trades of skill to the north, and the patio between the cottage and the covered path to the west. Some missions may take ye further, but when the tide turns that direction, we be letting you know. Red areas are off limit. Entering a red area is grounds for walking to plank, and you'll be automatically disqualified. The fates act kindly against those that perish in these waters, not stealing their life, but instead marooning them on an island. This be Tortuga. Ye that find yourselves marooned must face the witch doctor to determine thy fate. None may leave the Isle of Tortuga till released by the witch doctor. The witch doctor controls the bag of the fates which contains the stones of life, but which life shall it be? Draw white stone and ye be free to go. Draw black stone and ye must pay penance with a minute of your life to try again. Draw a green stone and ye be cursed to walk the world as a zombie. Now what good is a pirate without his ship? Ships be represented by powerful beings called moderators, and they be carrying flags. Each ship has 15 flags. If your ship is hit, you lose a flag. If your ship loses all the flags, your ship be sunk. When you board the ship, you'll be needing to elect a captain, and the captain will select the first mate. The ship follows the orders of the captain, and only the captain. Each ship be made of two lengths of rope. All crew members must keep a hand on the rope at all times. You may switch hands as you see fit, but wait too long and you will fall overboard. If one of your shipmates be getting stunned or hit while board ship, then the two ropes must form a V. The stunned players must stay inside the V until they recover or else they've fallen overboard. Humans be armed with these weird little contraptions called nerve weapons or balled up socks. They be using them to stun the zombies. How a squishy little thing like this stuns a zombie, I don't right know. Nor do I care to peer into the black magic they wield. When a zombie is hit by one of these weapons, they be getting stunned. When one of them zombies gets stunned, they better be getting out of the way. But no running or interfering with the game. And they be stunned for three minutes. There be a few zombies that still be looking human and spreading their foul disease. These be the start of the zombie horde. Zombies can't be using weapons, and they must two-hand tag their targets to spread the plague and build their numbers. Once one of you whelps gets tagged by a zombie, he'll turn in three minutes, unless he be receiving a medicinal pack. We be calling them med packs now, just easier on the tongue, you know what I mean, lady? Stand by for a few last-minute instructions from your moderator team. Listen to them at all times, ere you'll pay for your insolence with your life. Now then, get ready to set sail, ladies. Onward, for riches and glory. <laughs>